Thank you for clicking on the video. As you can see here, the blog entry for today is about the Pope asking everyone to pray the rosary on October 13th, or this Friday. And it's, uh, it's to acknowledge the anniversary of Fatima. And um, he goes into detail in this video. And if you want to check out the video, you can just go to the source. But I am not going to click on it in my video here because YouTube will probably pull the video and throw another copyright strike at me because the Catholic Church has been complaining on a regular basis. And I've already lost seven videos to their complaints. Anyway, as we know, the Pope recently asked the Polish people to pray the rosary on their national border so as to commemorate the so-called defeat of Islam. I made a video about that last week, as many of you know. As I stated in the video, the rosary of the Roman Catholic Church is not only a series of prayer beads first used by pagans of old and still in use by the pagans as well as the Roman Catholics, Buddhists, Muslims, and even Satanists to this day. These prayer chains are nothing more than a way for the unsuspecting and loyal honestly loyal followers in these religions to be used by their deceptive leaders as a way to anger the Christian God. And yes, the Bible does confirm that which I just said in detail. For example, when Jesus was asked by his followers on how to pray, he gave them an outline on how to do just that in Matthew chapter 6. All Catholics, and thanks to the prophesied Vatican infiltration into all the churches except the obedient remnant church, most people call that outline in Matthew chapter 6 the Lord's Prayer, when in fact it is not a prayer at all. In fact, all of John 17 is actually how Jesus prayed. That entire chapter is a prayer that he spoke in the garden that night right before he was arrested. If you place the outline he gave us in Matthew chapter 6 alongside of what you see him praying in John 17, you can see the outline clearly. But now for something most Catholics have no clue about because they're priests who have admitted in writing, and I'll share that in a minute, but they have admitted in writing that they are truly pagans using Christian names for their ancient rituals. These pagan priests never give them everything the Bible has to say on any one topic because it'll expose them, of course. And so the Catholic people have no idea of what I'm about to say because they also tell them not to read their Bibles. For example, as many people already know, and I have a page on the website all about this as well, the rosary is a collection of of many prayers that are to be repeated over and over again each and every day. And I, I know this as fact, too, because I was Catholic over three decades ago, and I prayed that rosary every day. Most of the prayers are repeated and even dedicated to the so-called Queen of Heaven, who most believe is the Mary of the Bible, when in fact it is not. And I also have a page on the website all about that as well. But before sharing that biblical fact, notice this. When they ask Jesus how to pray, before he gave them that outline in Matthew chapter 6, he stated the following quite clearly in verse 7. He said, when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. That's right. He specifically stated they must not use repetitive prayers like the heathens do, because he knew all about the pagans back then and how they used the beads. And for those of you that don't know, the word heathen in that passage comes from the Greek word ethnikos, which translated into English means of the nature of pagans, alien to the worship of the true God. And as we know, the Vatican admits in writing to have adopted pagan rituals in their church services and dogmatic tradition. Notice what Cardinal Newman admits in his book. He literally said that all those rituals are of pagan origin and sanctified by the adoption into the church. And so right off we see praying the repetitive rosary to the Queen of Heaven, as Mary is referred to in the Catholic Church, is something that goes directly against the Christian God of the Bible. And just so you know, this type of false worship angers the Lord in Heaven. Notice what it says in Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 18. It says, The children gather wood, the fathers kindle the fire, the women knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven. And it's talking about pagans here, by the way. And it goes on to say, and to pour out drink offerings onto other gods, because pagans have hundreds of them, right? Notice how the verse ends. He says, doing this is so they may provoke me to anger. And the me here is the God of heaven. And so why do you suppose the popes of Rome want their flock to anger the Lord, as many non-Christian religions do, like the Hindu, the Muslim, and the Satanist? Well, have you seen my videos? wherein we have proof now, the Vatican is not only holding worship services to Satan inside the Vatican, 
The Vatican itself, as well as the audience hall standing on the Vatican grounds, were purposely designed to glorify Satan. The audience hall literally looks like a serpent on the outside, and it looks like you're going into the mouth of the serpent on the inside, fangs and all. I mean, I did a video on this. Now, think about that basic reality for a moment. We're in the very last days, and prophecy stated that at this time, Satan's going to infiltrate all the churches to make people worship him instead of the true God of the Bible, so as to garner many souls into hellfire with him. And prophecy also says the popes of Rome are going to be outed as his cohorts and the prophesied men of sin right before Jesus gets here. And now we know who he is. We've known, actually, in the remnant church for decades. And so that is why the popes of Rome demand the people not only anger the God of the Bible by praying these pagan rosaries, but he also does it to get them to join him in offering praise and glory unto Satan. Thank you for watching. God bless.